Full send, boy. Yeah. Woo. So, what we're doing in today's video is I'm going to build out. We, we put just tons of crazy mods I've never used before in this game. And we're then we're on Paradise, which is a Lambo mods map that has tons of mods. That Austin's going to show me around and show me how it's done. And the first half of the video is going to be building out the trucks. Because there's lots of customization in FS19. Second half of the video, holy crap, is going to be is going to be testing them out. Like Austin's here with the Argo. That we didn't even know this mod. Basically for this video, I was just like, gather all the craziest mods and let's put them to use. So that's what we're doing for this video. If you guys end up enjoying it, smash that like button as always. And holy crap. So, oh, by the way, if you want, check out Austin Farmer's channel. He's going ham with her. So, first, we have a Chevy Z71. My dad, when I was growing up, he had a pickup truck just like this. Besides, it was a regular cab, didn't have extended cab, and it was a, sh and it was, first of all, it wasn't on a crazy big lift and crazy big tires, but it was a short box. It was a short bed, single cab truck. That thing was a beast in the mud because it was, it was so tiny and light and stuff. But it was a Z71 like this, man. And then, got a gosh dang Duramax right here. Holy crap. Okay, so basically we're going to put these to the test. There's tons of different mods. I'm going to run you guys through them right now. So first mod I want to build out, and Austin's building out his mods at the exact same time that I'm building out mine. But the first mod I want to build out is a Toyota Helix. And I'm pretty sure, Austin, was this made by David? Uh, I, th I believe it was made by Hunter. Oh, okay, okay. Those guys do a fantastic job. Do we go camper shell? Uh, it was Expendables crew, basically. Okay, Expendables crew. And then Expendables does a heck of a job on their mods. Best trucks out of a group I've ever seen. Uh, toolbox, dog box. We'll do that tailgate uh what can i do okay we'll just go stock i don't know what tube does but yeah we'll go with that i have some friends that love love toyota they love toyota tundras not the helix maybe but toyota tundras they drive them all uh yeah we'll go yeah we gotta put that on uh bed floor diamond plate yeah we'll do that engine stock more power baby <laughs> yeah we'll go that um light bar dope can i do anything else nope light bar there um CB antenna. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For a mud truck, we got to do it, of course. Tire selection. Here's standard. I can go mud. Mud beadlocks look really good. Okay. We'll go mud beadlocks. Th that looks super good. So now, color. We'll go design color. What is red? Okay. Nope. Uh, that is like cal. That's like your brakes. We'll keep that white. Uh, main color. Okay. I'm an idiot. It was orange. Well, how about we go like, eh, that's not too bad. What about a black? Nope, not a black. Hmm. Orange? Orange doesn't look bad on this Toyota. Pink? No, people are going to kill me. Navy. Yellow doesn't look bad. That looks pretty good. I'm going to keep it like that. Look. Next. Dodge. Okay. This is going to do... Okay, I want to get the craziest setup. Do I have a gooseneck? Yeah, but where are my wheels at for this thing? Jeez. Expendables. We'll run that. We'll... We'll rep Expendables today. Flatbed, box belts. Okay, let's figure out these tires. There we go. Six by six. <laughs> let's do that. that. That looks pretty dope. Okay, we're doing that. Uh, what color? Okay, so gold always looks the best on this. Like, I'm, uh, never mind. There. Well, I thought there was a gold that always looked good. Okay, we'll go that tan. That tan looks pretty good. Tan. There we go. Dope. Perfect. Okay, now mod that I love that came out of Expendables 2, K30. If you guys know the 80 series, we have this mod in the 80 series. So, you can go flatbed on it, but what I want to go for is... I'm, that looks pretty darn good. I should have got this for the 80 series, but what I want to do is I want to go... I want to go when we go configurations. Oh my gosh. Did I not know you could do all this? Holy crap. Forestry? Okay, dude, that looks good. Preset forestry. That looks actually really cool. We could go preset forestry on this. That looks pretty darn cool. Man, that looks good. Do we keep dually for mudding or not, though? That's the question. So we'll go with side steps. Palm out, we don't need it. Brand decals, we'll go Chevy. LED light bar, hell yeah. Or heck, yeah. Um, <laughs> license plate, expendables. And... Supercharged 6.2 liter Detroit. That'll be good. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to go a, muddies, or a, a mudding 80s truck. Personally, I love these rock tires, but they're not made for mud. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight mud 
beadlock. That looks good. So we'll go that. We could go black rooms. Now, I don't know if I should. Let's keep it new, at least kind of new, I guess, for body. That looks pretty darn good. The question is, do I keep it yellow? Or I could go an army green. I always love going this army green, but that's what our 80s truck is. Okay, last but not least, we need a trailer for this. So I'm going to go load loaders. We'll go big tax. And we want the biggest of the biggest. We'll go a 35 footer. I should probably, I probably don't want a gooseneck because it'll be a little screwed up, but we're going to go. Let, yeah, let's not go gooseneck because that'll give me more room to load stuff on. Yeah, let's not go gooseneck. I know it's going to be a little weird, but let's not go gooseneck. There we go. Attachers, black. We can go black rims. Perfect. Wow. I don't think I've ever bought this. I bought this trailer so many times. And I don't think I've ever bought it with a 35 foot bumper pull so what we're doing is we're going to use the giant ram to pull this thing around <laughs> oh my gosh the six by six with duels on the back man this is nothing compared to austin's over there oh he's got a ram too everybody's using a gosh dang ram well first of all i need to load this stuff up okay so we got to put something on the back of this on the back of this ram and guys i'm gonna be honest we have so many crazy mods in here my game it just may be a little laggy to be honest <laughs> yeah, it's not working. Pull back. Abort mission. Okay, to be honest, the Toyota Helix feels like it's going to be one of the best trucks. Yo, Austin. Yeah. Do you ever get stuck on this map? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. Okay, that's I'm good. Not stuck, stuck, but like you can back out of it, but uh, you can get stuck going up that big nasty hill. We should have. It's literally called the Big Nasty. It's called the Big Nasty. Yes. Okay, we got the little Pioneer loaded up, and now what I'm going to do, connect, connect to the 35-foot trailer. I think Austin, Austin just tossed his Arco right in the back. Oh, man. Okay, that'll do. Oh, you know what? Right as I say, I, I, I think this is the first time I've gotten a 35-foot trailer. Austin buys a 35-foot trailer, too. What a coincidence. And no, we didn't, like, factor it in unless he was listening to me or something. Okay, now we gotta get these puppies loaded up. Sometimes in farm sim, it's just fun to do just re ridiculous, stupid stuff. Like, oh, why are there two 35 foot trailers? Did I buy two? Oh, Austin put a hitch on his. I see why. Oh, okay, keep backing her up. Keep coming. Okay, nope. Keep coming. Yep, Gregor, Gregor, Gregor. Nope. Pull forward. <laughs> we got her attached. Now Austin's gonna pull forward. He's going to load him up because I'll hold two and Austin, Austin will take two. We should probably put the lighter trucks in his trailer, to be honest. Keep going. Okay. We'll put the K30 on his. Hey, stop right there. Oh, my gosh. Hey, stop right there. <laughs> You're new here. Step inside. She's got flex. Load her up. Do you hear this thing? Is yeah, it? hold on. Come over here. Come over here. Come over Ooh. here. What the heck is this? Modding paradise right here. This should... Welcome to your own little paradise that offers plenty of space to build your own world. <laughs> We've laid the groundwork by installing several... That's Lambo himself talking. I know. I was going to say, guys, that's... Uh, if you guys ever talk to Lambo mods, that's Lambo here. mods talking right there. And when it does, the dynamic mud kicks in even harder than it already is. That's so cool. Awesome. <laughs> oh, let's do that thing go. Okay, we're gonna. Oh my gosh, dude, what is up with this steering wheel? What the heck? It looks like a bus driver's steering wheel. You know how they have their steering wheel so flat? Oh my gosh. Okay, this puppy's getting loaded up. She's going straight up. We have dual tandem axles in the back of this ram. I think we'll be fine hauling this weight. It's not even that, it doesn't even weigh that much. I guess it just has giant tires on it. We made it. Me and Austin are here. He already brought the train here. Somehow most of his vehicles stayed on. Mine didn't stay on. We're going to go check out the massive kind of mud park uh, flexing area, I guess you'd call it. Okay. <laughs> we'll hit the hill up later. I wonder if I could climb this. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Holy crap. Okay. Keep her down. Yeah, there we go. Austin's giving us a tour. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay. 
Get on the logs. This is almost like spin tires. If you guys ever played spin tires, Austin's definitely played spin tires, I feel like. Yep. Definitely have. My K30, I think, or the the Bronco will probably do some of the best on here, I bet. Nope, Toyota. The Toyota? Guarantee it. Okay. I really want to try the Toyota then. We're going to keep following Austin through here. Just a car in here. Let's send her. Oh my gosh. She's a base here. There's a dump truck. Let's hit her. Oh shoot. See, this is the one, one of the reasons why farm sim is so great is even though this isn't spin tire stuff, you can basically combine, if you have a PC, you can combine all this into one game. Oh, of, of course you need modders there, but man, the modders just make it awesome. There's so much crazy stuff you can do. It's better if you have a couple friends with you though when you're doing it. I don't know if you can make it up that big uh, log wall there. I I'll could. try it. Okay. Challenge? Make it up here. Oh, we're stuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get a little ramp. Come on. She wants to climb. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Okay. Austin's over already over there. I got to follow him through here. Looks like it goes through here. Man, I can't imagine how much detail went into this map even. This is crazy. I really want to get something like the Bronco. Something that's... The suspension is just insane, but the Helix, that'll be interesting too. Just got a couple logs here. We'll send up here. Go down through here. I still can't get over the steering wheel. It's all good though. This is the big nasty. I found the big nasty. Chevy, what you got? You ready for? Okay, we're gonna hit the big nasty, full speed. See how far we can make it. Put your bets in. Out of all of our vehicles, well, the rest of our vehicles are over here. Which one hits it better? Actually, Austin, do you want to line up at the big nasty too? <laughs> hey, he's come. Oh gosh, there he goes. We even have a campground over here. Dang. And then there's. It looks like there's an asphalt one over there too. Three. Two, one, go. Oh my gosh. Here we go. I wonder if there's any spots you're supposed to avoid. Come on. Come on, Chevy. Climb. Climb. We got her. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got her. We got her in the bag. Is Austin going to make her? Nope. He gone. Oh, what is this over here? This must go downhill? Or maybe you're supposed to climb. I think you're supposed to climb this way, but this is probably more challenging. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to go down that. Let's back up. <laughs> He's going in reverse. Okay, we're sliding down. We are sliding. We got to dodge Austin. Don't fall. Oh, shoot. There we go. We're good. Oh, those are pretty. Those seem like they're pretty traction. Traction-y, if that even makes sense. It might not be a bad idea to try to hit those logs. Seems like there's some pretty good traction there. Yeah, I can, because once I hit the brakes on those logs and we hit them, it just stops you. So that honestly may not be too bad traction. Austin, you want to switch vehicles? Uh, yeah, sure. I want to try my Argo. I really want to try this Toyota Helix. I want to try this thing out. I would like to, love to try the K32. Let's go to Toyota. Okay, first of all, Toyota, I'm going on the course here. Quick. And then we'll hit Big Nasty. Actually, let's hit Big Nasty. Let's hit her full speed. Well, Austin's testing out the Argo. We'll hit Big Nasty. Come on, Toyota. What you got, you Chinese manufactured awesome. Come on. Come on, Toyota. She gone. Okay, we're gone. Okay, even though it didn't make it that far up Big Nasty, I bet we'll do good in the Nasty Mud Pit over here. Here we go. Full send. Come on. Climb a car. Yep. <laughs> Go through a car. Yep. <laughs> Truck. Tires. Now the one thing I want to get to that we weren't able to climb is these logs right here. Let's see how she does. If I can make it up through here. Come on. 
All right, I'm on my my way over in the Argo here. We're gonna have to try it out on the the massive mud hill. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna be stuck. Austin's coming over here with the Argo. I don't know if you can pull me out or anything like that, but I might be stuck. <laughs> There's his Argo. He's stuck. Look at that thing Not go. Full Dude, this thing goes fast. Like, check this out. Okay, K30 time. Put your bets in if the 6.2 liter Detroit supercharged. And I don't even know if there's a supercharger on a 6.2 liter. I don't even, first of all, to be honest, I don't know how much about engines at all. I could tell you, like, you know, the Duramax Cummins Power Stroke. But once you get in depth with the engines, I have no idea, man. But maybe you can put a six, uh, supercharger, supercharger, supercharger on a 6.2 liter uh, engine. But Grant, say supercharger six times fast. Supercharger, 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 <laughs> supercharger, supercharger, supercharger. I don't know what I said. Did I say something bad? Oh, crap. Okay. No, We're going Ford Bronco versus Chevy K30. The years are pretty close, I think. Like five years apart. Because this is actually, never mind. This is a 79. That's a 66. So let's put them to head to head. <laughs> they both have the same ones. You call it Austin. All right. Three, two, one, go. Let's see what they do. Chevy's taking the lead. We got more weight on the Chevy though, that Bronco. Come on, come on. Oh gosh, I can tell you right now we're not making it. Oh, maybe we are. Come on, come on. Oh, we gotta call it. She gone. I want to avoid him. Oh my gosh. You just about fish hook this thing down. Now it's a race to the bottom. <laughs> okay, we gotta try this K30 out over here. As we follow the Bronco through here. He's trying to find a way. He just can't. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, nice. There he goes. He's stuck. He's got to back up. Give her. I don't know he's going to play the move to the right or to the left. There he goes. He's got to pull her back again. Maybe we could try going over the dump truck. Nope. Smart move. He's going for it. He's going for the six logs. Seven logs. There you go. Oh my gosh. Is he going to be the one that gets it? If he can get that right rear tire up on that log, I think he has a good shot. There he goes. Can you get that right rear tire? Oh. He's close. He's going to keep working her. To be honest, we've never gotten a vehicle up here, so I don't know if the Bronco's going to be able to do it. Oh. He might have it here. If he doesn't have it here, this is his last chance, pretty much. Can't. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh. Oh. Ah, it's so slick. <laughs> He's shifting gears fast. Uh, it's so sl slick. And now he's stuck up there. It's like the logs are greased down. So nobody has been able to make it up the eight logs, seven logs here. Well, we kind of got it up. Look at that flex. <laughs> wow. He's going to keep going. Oh, what's going to happen here? There he goes. He's got it. Don't flip. Oh my gosh. He's stuck. Well, I think that's a goner for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We wanted to come on here and just have a mud party just mess around with different vehicles and i know i didn't even get to them all but anyways guys thanks for watching and hey i'll see you guys on the next one thanks guys